you another video for the game World of Warships Legends. Today, we do have a treat for you. As a CC here, we have been given access to the new legendary carriers. There's two of them, and this one here happens to be the U.S. bird. This is the Midway, and boy, is she a big, and she is one pretty-looking ship. Now, the thing about this is we're going to have to play um, some samples of it in AI because these things strictly... Uh, when you're, when they end up doing the uh, the game, they match. They strictly match against legendary carriers. So only the CCs have them right now. So I would have to play with another CC on, and we would have to be matched up. So, but if you play an AI, it'll just match up with the AI. So you can see what the thing looks like in action, anyways. Well, here initially is what the ship looks like, and she is a big one. That's a really nice looking uh, flight deck there. Lots of room for a lot of aircraft. And look at all the AA guns on this thing, eh? There's the AA. And look at those secondary batteries there. There's a lot of them. A lot of secondary batteries, a lot of AA, especially along the rear here. Look at them all. A lot of secondaries. That is a well-defended ship secondary-wise. Go along the back here. You can see a lot more AA guns for sure. And even look at those Bofors. Look, there's a ton of them. Nice looking ship. Even these uh, Douglas uh, bombers look pretty nice too with the uh, gull wings on them. Water back here. Smokestacks in the middle. And we have that nice looking flight deck here too. Okay. Now let's move out of here. Now with this video we're going to just basically look at the stats of this carrier. Uh, look premium, selections, all that. And then we'll uh, do some moments with the ship in action. And like I said... I can only play this in AI right now because I don't have anyone on CC that's on at the moment to do, these, to do this in uh, standard mode. So we'll do the, uh, the, um, the clips in AI mode. All right, so first off, let's have a look initially at the upgrades. Being a legendary ship, you get four upgrades here. Now your first spot here, you get the secondary mod uh, battery or you can get flight control mod. Now we'll talk about the aircraft momentarily. But I uh, just set this up as a secondary for NAA because I like to be very, very aggressive when I play AA with a carrier. I like, I like to go right in and just take on the um, um, the AI ships uh, directly with this ship as well to see how well those secondaries work. And we got a few of those in there as well. So we're going to choose secondary here, giving us the plus 10% and minus 10%. And, uh, you, but you can also choose the flight control mod. I imagine a lot of people are going to... And you're going to have, because you don't get a whole lot of planes starting on deck. I believe you start with uh, 12 torpedo bombers on deck and 14 um, uh, dive bombers on deck. And for such a massive carrier, I uh, feel that is uh, quite low. We should be able to start with a lot more aircraft on deck. So restoration time is going to be crucial for this ship. So you might want to consider that if you choose to take this. Now... The next uh, mod, we have secondary battery again. Uh, we also got AA mod number two, which you guys are probably aware of for increased firing range. And you got air group mod number two for bombers and torpedo bombers, getting a slight increase in their HP. Okay, now for the next one, uh, concealment systems or target acquisition. I personally like using concealment systems. But I'm not going to pick it for an AA battles. It doesn't matter. Don't want to waste the cash on that. And for the last one here, we have secondary battery mod number three, giving us uh, increased uh, battery reload time. I think the base minimum for the secondary uh, armaments on here is uh, reloads are four seconds. So this will knock it down to about, what, 3.4, 3.5. You also have AA gun mod three, um, flight control mod for additional cruise speed or air group mod, which is a nice one to have with that 25% return speed there. So that might be a consideration as well. So now let's actually do a quick look at the actual stats of this ship. Survivability for a legendary carrier at 67,000. You'd think it would be more, but it's not. Uh, torpedo damage reduction, 25%, which is nice. Now the aircraft, here we have, we have uh, torpedoes and dive bombers of the exact same aircraft. They're Douglas uh, BTDs. Hit points, 2,900 for the torpedo bombers. Uh, 3100 for the dive bombers. Now maximum speed, it's an actually pretty good speed. Uh, 170 knots and 174 knots. <coughs> Mind you, the um, the Japanese legendary carrier does have faster aircraft by about 10 or 13 knots. I think they're in the 180s. 
Attack unit size, two, and attack unit size for the dive bombers are three. Aircraft per squadron, we have eight. Aircraft per squadron for the dive bombers are nine. Now, detectability range, 10 kilometers. You can get that reduced with the uh, concealment. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I was thinking something else. Aircraft restoration, 90 seconds. That's a long time to wait because when you're playing legendary against legendary ships, your aircraft get chewed up quite a bit with all those uh, AA ships out there. Now, this is what's nice here. Maximum torpedo damage is uh, 7,700. And what's nice, sure, the torpedo speed's 42 knots. It's slow, but your range is 7 kilometers. So you do have a, an advantage in the American torpedo bombers here as opposed to the Japanese legendary ship. The Japanese legendary ship has a torpedo range of, I believe, 6 kilometers with uh, less damage, if I'm not mistaken. But they have faster speed, though, at 50 knots. So, mind you, the fire setting chance on the midway with their dive bombers is significantly higher than the legendary uh, uh, fire chance for the um, legendary Japanese carrier. You have 68% here. I believe it's only like 50% on the legendary um, Japanese carrier. Okay, now if we look at the artillery, because I chose to focus this as a secondary build, you have 18 single 127s. That's nine of those guns per side, port and starboard, with a firing range uh, right now of 7.6 kilometers with a 3.2 second reload. HE sales do 1,800 damage with fire setting chances of 13%. AA defense, yeah, these things, yeah, these, looking at both of the legendary carriers, both the Midway and the Japanese one, they just chew through aircraft. You do not want to get your aircraft close to these carriers. Uh, they, just, they just destroy them. Okay, now maneuverability, we got 33 knots on here with a, with a massive 1,230 meter turn circle. Yeah, these things are big. 18.2 uh, second rudder shift. But you know what? You don't need that on a carrier, right? Concealment wise, well, it's a big massive ship. Armor, literally, this, it has an armored deck as you can see there, which is kind of nice. And overview of this carrier, point of entry. HE bombs are able to penetrate thicker armor so that is really nice so you know that for example the lennon with it's got that armored massive deck i believe your he bombs can penetrate that thicker armor on there so that's kind of nice double the pain yes torpedo bombers will drop two torpedoes each yes and they and that's really nice um torpedo bombers are really easy to use on this ship as well as the dive bombers Secondary reach, I do love that with the ship. Above average secondary battery range. This, as you can know, is the largest U.S. Navy warship laid down during World War II. The huge size of the aircraft carried her, allowed her to carry the largest air group compared to her contemporary counterparts. Mind you, sure, it's carrying the largest air group, but you know what? It doesn't prep them on the deck. With only 14 dive bombers and 12 torpedo bombers on deck at any one time, I think that is significantly too low. It really should be a lot higher for such a ship like this. And I believe you guys probably agree with that. Excellent torpedo protection, yes. Well-armored flight deck, yes. And powerful AA defenses, yes. You can even see them. Made midway class ships virtually invulnerable to attacks from enemy aircraft. Entered service in 1945. Ships in the series, as we all know, there are three. Okay, that's just back under there. Now let's, uh, whoops, too far over. Hold on. Now, um, if we look at uh, here, yeah, engine cooling, yeah, we reload time 80 seconds. We had the standard patrol fighters, consumable duration, one minute, reload time 10 seconds. And we've also got the evasive maneuver, okay? That's some basic stuff. You have four fighter aircraft squadrons on board, which are automatic, and boosters, you know, it's just, and camouflage. While it does have, if we go to camouflage, don't know if we can see it now there. We don't have access to it yet, but that is the actual permanent camo for the Midway. You know what? That looks really nice. I like the, de the deck is decorated up more with the, um, with the guidelines on the deck there. You've got very nice uh, camo along the port and starboard. And you can see that there's a mass amount of air, uh, anti-air on the rear of that ship, eh? Same with the uh, bow. Not too bad, but the uh, stern really has a lot. That kind of looks nice. 
we kind of look at it with um, some other um, camels on board. There she is in green, ugly. There she is in black, really nice. Gotta like that. There she is in the blue. We wander on over to, <laughs> yeah, Christmas red. Uh, maybe not Victor Victory camo. Um, of course, <coughs> we've got the good old US of A patriotic camo on there. I'm sure, excuse me, a lot of people will be picking that. Yeah, <laughs> Union Jack colors, some Italian colors on there, even the CC camo. You might see a few of them out there like that at some point with our CC camo on them. Actually looks pretty good with the CC camo. And, uh, oh yeah, there's that one there. from, uh, And we also got uh, some other ones here. The Space Camel. Looks pretty good. Good old, oh God, I can't stand that camel. The green. And we do have that one there. We do have um, these ones here as well. They look kind of nice. We got that one right there. And lastly, we have, oh, actually, that looks pretty nice. Got to admit, this uh, the European camel here does look really nice on most ships. Let's just pack it in there, okay. So, let's back out. Back to the ship itself. And as for commanders, well, as we all know, we only have one choice for a U.S. carrier commander at the moment. And that is Mr. Ernest King who has the un I Come Prepared Survivability Skill. We have a quick look at him. Since I just made a secondary, I put Haruna on there to make it even better. I also gave my slow torpedoes some extra speed by about 2.2 knots. And we also gave swatting flies, uh, emergency power, out of sight, and burn, baby burn, as well as death from above. Okay. So now what we'll do is head back here. Now we'll take this carrier out. We'll do some clips in AA, AI as you can see this carrier in action and its flight deck and all that. So hope you stick around for that. I have a few clips to show you. Okay, thank you for watching this time.
enemy battleship.